Everyone knows that all you need to seduce someone is a sexy as hell, seductive fragrance. Style, charm, being a good person, personal hygiene, forget them. Having a fragrance wardrobe full of seduction weapons is all any player needs. In this video, I'm recommending 10 of the best men's seductive designer fragrances. Right, let's find out which fragrances have the power to bypass anything else about a person and instantly seduce. You may have just killed your neighbour's cat, but that neighbour won't stay mad for long when they smell a seductive fragrance on you. You might have accidentally cheated on your partner with the neighbour, but they won't stay mad at you for long once you seduce them with a sexy scent. You might suggest that you, your partner and the neighbour dabble in a little menage a trois. Initially, there might be some resistance to the idea, but spray on a killer cologne and they'll be putty in your hands. It's amazing how fragrances can cast some kind of magic spell. I'm sure these perfumers must be witches and wizards because to create a smell that can seduce another person, that's talent. Diving into the list, the first fragrance actually explains what it does on the bottle, which is very helpful. It literally pulls people towards you like they're caught in a tractor beam of seduction. They're helpless to resist when you spray Boss Magnetic. This is a very sweet, fruity seduction scent. It smells a bit like a cherry and apple pie drizzled with cream. Anyone who likes drizzled cream on their pie will adore this smell. I wish more fragrances would list their function on the bottle. It would really help when choosing a fragrance in the shop. Well done, Boss. Really well done. This really is just a sweet, fruity, mass appealing fragrance. But who needs complexity? And you've got seduction juice as good as this. Boss Magnetic, it will help you pull. This next one uses brand new fragrance technology to help you seduce your subject. It's Spice Bomb Infrared EDP. Spice Bomb Infrared EDP uses state-of-the-art infrared technology developed over at NASA. It emits an invisible infrared beam that smells like Jolly Rancher cinnamon fire candy. The beam hits the unwilling victim and just like that, they're seduced by infrared technology. The good thing about this EDP is that it has an even more concentrated infrared beam than the EDT, which means it goes for longer and seduces more people. Just be careful which way your atomizer is facing when you spray it. Mine was facing backwards, so unfortunately, I sprayed myself in the face and seduced my own eye. It felt weird. Iris is commonly known by perfumers and seduction experts like myself as the seduction molecule. That certainly was the case for the original Diorom, but unfortunately in Diorom 2020, they forgot to put it in. It was for this reason I overlooked the new Diorom for quite a while, but in a recent Justin Copeland video, he seduced me with his amazing trumpet voice and convinced me that even though they forgot to add Iris, it miraculously still smells seductive. Having recently purchased Diorom 2020, I have to agree with Trumpet Copeland. Diorom 2020 has indeed been to the University of Seduction and obtained a degree in seduction. There is a classical cologne smell at play here, playing with musks, citrus and woods in a seductively playful way. In actual fact, the masterstroke here is substituting Iris for another seduction molecule, ISO E Super. All these elements combine to play a symphony as seductively as Justin Copeland blows his own trumpet. Next, another scent that helpfully describes what it does on the bottle, because this one seduces in an extreme parfum kind of way. It's Tom Ford's Noir Extreme Parfum. This has all the sex appeal of Noir Extreme EDP, but intensifies its extremeness by being a more extreme parfum concentration and throwing in a little bit of leather. Stronger and more robust in its seduction style than the EDP. It has more attitude and edge. Not only is the description on the bottle very helpful, but so too is the reflective nature. You can see yourself in the bottle and give yourself a little seduction pep talk. Come on, Chris, you might not have Brad Pitt good looks, but that don't matter when you're wearing Tom Ford Noir Extreme Parfum. You got this, fella. After that, watch the powers of seduction unfold before your very eyes. Also, you can check for bogeys. Finally, we get to a scent that does include the seduction molecule of Iris. Givenchy Gentleman 
Reserve Privé. Lipstick is always a good seduction tool, so it's no surprise that the lipsticky iris smell here is such a seduction weapon. Even my dog agrees. Whenever he's seduced, his lipstick is proudly displayed. Sadly, his seduction days are behind him now. He hasn't been the same since the operation. Have you, mate? Fortunately, unlike Bertie, this fragrance gets the job done. It even uses a whiskey accord to trick people into thinking they're getting drunk. And we all know that makes seducing easier. Givenchy Gentleman Reserve Privé. More lipstick than a 16 year old dog. Givenchy can have that for their ad campaign. Sticking with the subject of privates, next is Galan's L'Homme Ideal Platine Privé. It's not often a brand clones one of its own fragrances, but Galan have skillfully pulled it off with this one. This smells astonishingly like L'Homme Ideal Cologne. Probably a 99.99999% similarity. Well done, Galan. Effortless creativity on display here in managing to get this close to one of your own discontinued fragrances. Must have been quite the task, but you nailed it. Speaking of nailing things, the creamy citrus with the almond and vetiver is enough to seduce anyone who catches a whiff. The freshness makes this ideal as a summer seducer. If you're taking a summer trip and want to level up your seduction game, this one is ideal. To some, the art of seduction is like cracking a code, but they don't know how to crack it. Fortunately, Armani have done that for us with Code Absolute. The code DNA is sexy as hell. Just ask anyone who's ever smelled it. Absolute is even sexier and even more seductive with its creamy, fruity, spiciness. Being precision engineered to please the nose of anyone who smells this is always a good start when it comes to cracking the seduction code. Absolu brings lots of creamy vanilla to the party, which makes it richer, deeper and more indulgent than the original. Strong seduction game is written into the code of Absolu, making it a surefire hit with any unsuspecting seductees. If you want to attract people on a night out, at a party, in a bar, or at the local post office, this code is absolutely cracking. Everyone talks about La Nuit de L'Homme being the ultimate mass appealing fragrance. Sure, it can tickle the nostrils in a fun way, but can it stroke and caress the nostrils in a sensual and titillating way? La Nuit de L'Homme EDP can. The brand say this new interpretation of the original promises a darker and more sensual take on the popular fragrance intended for an enigmatic, seductive and bold man. Even the brand say this was designed to be seductive and the leather in here makes this a more confident version of this DNA. It's got the same sexy spiciness as the original, but this one is more assertive and bold and enigmatic, like the brand say. The original, as good as it is, it's like a fun flirt. But this version, this, is hardcore seduction. If you want to do your seducing by night, you might want to use Azaro's Wanted by Night. The name is a little bit misleading because personally, I think you can use this to seduce at any occasion, any time of the year. If you like your seducing to be versatile, then Wanted by Night would be a good weapon of choice. It's a warm, spicy, fruity tobacco scent loaded with many, many bullets of seduction. loaded with five bullets of seduction. Start firing these off and wait for the magic to happen. This really is a weapon of mass seduction. When a fragrance brand has run out of all possible flanker names, what do they do? What's sexier than an EDT, than an EDP, than a Parfum? An Elixir. Lamal Elixir is the most seductive of all the Lamals. It's sweeter, deeper and shinier than all the others. Sexy Lamal with honey and tobacco. It just screams, take me to bed or lose me forever. Show me the way home, honey. And tobacco. Not only does the package look more enticing in its gold shiny form, the scent is also the most enticing Lamal to date. Speaking of dates, this. There you go, my soldiers of seduction, my cologne troopers. Choose your weapon and go to war. Spray your juice far and wide and reap the benefits.
And never forget, when it comes to seduction, a fragrance is all you need. Maybe. If you're disgustingly rich and you want a niche version of this video, let me know. I'd be happy to make one for you. Also, in the comments, let me know which are your favourite weapons of mass seduction. If you like this video, if you found it useful, you know what to do. Hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do all that, I will see you in the next video.